Hello Capricorn! Welcome to Josie Kate Tarot. I'm Josie Kate and this is the second half of February 2019 Love and Romance, Career and Finance, Spiritual Guidance Reading. Whatever spirit would like for me to translate for whichever Capricorn and or group of Capricorns that this message is for during this general reading. Should these messages resonate and you would like more information, feel free to contact me for a personal reading. Uh, just email me at my email address, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my prices will be listed in the box below. Uh, I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading, if you'd like to give that a try. All right, so I'm going to be starting out with the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan. But before I get into that circle spread, I am going to explain uh, the overall energies I am feeling for this particular Capricorn. Uh, these energies will be around you and um, available to you to work with during the second half of February 2019. Of course, it is up to each and every one of us to make our final decisions uh, when the time comes in certain circumstances. So, uh, this particular Capricorn that I am feeling for this general reading has had these energies up until you uh, view this uh, mid-February to end of February 2019 video. This particular Capricorn has been thinking about moving on into a new direction, has been communicating with groups of people, maybe friends and family, has been listening to uh, some form of gossip, or has been observing groups of people as they are contemplating a new journey ahead in their life. This particular Capricorn um, is wanting to sneak away from a current circumstance or situation. And with the book here, Spirit saying it is time to research uh, a new chapter of your life. To look back at what you've learned uh, through a previous journey or connection and to... Uh, Figure out what you learned about yourself through that previous journey or connection. All right, so they're saying that this particular Capricorn has been feeling trapped or stuck in some way, and that has caused for them to feel the energies of burden. They may still feel by mid-February 2019 like they are stuck or trapped in some way, uh, but I do feel like this particular Capricorn is contemplating <clears throat> devoting themselves to a new financial opportunity or uh, a higher position of pay. They're hoping that someone will devote themselves to them and allow for them to come into this higher level of pay, or they are contemplating the connection of someone who has water in their chart, Pisces Cancer or Scorpio. So when we look at the energies available for the third week of February 2019, we have, again, devotion. Uh, thinking about rolling the dice, taking a risk. Am I devoted to another? Are they devoted to me? Again, in the third week of February 2019, we have the energies of burden, feeling stuck. Spirit saying you are, whoever this is, going through a very spiritual transformation. Therefore, you are uh, rising to a higher spiritual level. You are understanding how you have grown through a previous journey or experience and how you are a stronger person now, a stronger soul, more experienced and more aware. All right, so by the third going into the fourth week of February 2019, we do have letters communication, texting, talking, tweeting, or paperwork. And that will help for this Capricorn to bring an ending to um, that old path, that old journey, that old circumstance, situation, or even environment. Now, by the end of February 2019, uh, this Capricorn has received the communication they needed. They are thinking about moving into a new doorway, a new journey ahead. Uh, but they are waiting for more information, waiting to get to the truth of a situation before making that decision around the 22nd of February 2019. In the outcome position, by the end of February 2019, this Capricorn is uh, communicating, connecting, uh, talking to someone who is in charge, a leader, a manager, a business owner. Um, they are thinking about their long-term circumstances, especially when it comes to finances. Uh, we also have a Capricorn here who may be wanting to open their heart to someone new. 
and they are trying to find clarity about that, but they're not going to have all of the clarity in either situation, financial or in a relationship, uh, by the end of February. They may start to, but I am being guided to tell this Capricorn that now is a time to open up and speak your truth, maybe even just to yourself, about what has transpired, what you learned about yourself, who you are now, and how you're going to uh, free yourself from unhealthy people, places, circumstances, situations, or environments. And then as you are speaking your truth to others and freeing yourself from that connection, as you are receiving more information, Spirit is saying, listen to your third eye chakra. Um... In other words, your intuition. Things will happen sequentially as you let go of what no longer serves you. And that's uh, that's when you see new things, new offers and opportunities coming your way. All right. So I am going to get into the... Oh, before I get into the Witch's Tarot deck, I want to look at the second Lenormand spread. So we do have a Capricorn energy who is dealing with maybe a well-dressed masculine energy. Again, this could be a business leader, owner. Uh, this could be um, wanting to move into a position of leadership. But with the snake here, there are fears of success. There also could be a Capricorn energy who is walking in the energies of the snake or dealing with someone who's carrying the energies of the snake, which involves the energies of lies and deceit. I think somebody is leaving that situation behind and is looking for a beautiful new location in their life, a new beautiful opportunity uh, for themselves. Yes, yeah, Spirit saying you have the key to success to celebrate a new path. A new journey. So there may be some Capricorns in the second half of February 2019 who are thinking about traveling or moving into a new direction. Why? Because it is time to take flight. With the coffin energies, something has gone full circle spiritually as it was meant to in this Capricorn's journey. So they just need to come to the realization that things went full circle because they learned what they needed to from that situation. Yes. So there are some Capricorns in the second half of February 2019 who are going to bring an ending to a current home or business situation or environment. Yes, uh, they are or were hoping, wishing, and praying to stay in an environment with someone, but now they're being given the strength to sweep away from what they used to wish for. There will be communications, connections, texting, texting, talking, tweeting, emailing, whatever it is when it comes to a business, an organization. Uh, this could be a church building. Uh, this could be a courthouse. This could be a bigger, better, more beautiful home. And this Capricorn may be a little bit nervous, trying to find the truth to a situation, trying to get more information about maybe a location at a distance or... Uh, they're needing more information about uh, who they're communicating with because they're feeling like they don't have enough information and it's causing for them to feel like that they're in is the obstacle, not having enough information. So now with the book energy, Spirit's advice is to research and learn. Obtain the wisdom that you need before moving forward. Okay, so we have the bear again in the outcome position. So Spirit's saying that someone, oh, they might even, by the end of February 2019, bring in an offer to sign on the dotted line when it comes to a contract, commitment, or partnership. This could take place around the 25th of February 2019. Now let's get into the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan, and let's clarify these messages, please, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, that we've already discussed for this particular Capricorn energy for the second half of February 2019. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so... In the center of the circle spread, we do have someone who is large and in charge. For some, this could be uh, an attorney. This could be a judge. This could be 
a legal situation where you are feeling like you have to put on your garb and be protective of your circumstances, protective of your children, your family. Again, I'm feeling like Spirit is advising this Capricorn to speak your truth about uh, new beginnings in your life, wanting to move on. Uh, the Emperor Energies will give this Capricorn the ability to get clear, organized, logical, disciplined, focused, and determined as to what they need to sacrifice in their life that no longer serves them. As they speak their truth to another or to others, uh, they are uh, being guided to listen to their intuition and pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that as they free themselves from uh, an unhealthy circumstance, situation, or person, that new wonderful blessings are opening up to them. Okay, so in the thoughts position, yes, this particular Capricorn uh, in the third week of February 2019 may be dealing with energies of the three of swords, meaning sadness and or heartache. But Spirit's saying even though it is hard to let go, that is the burden energies, uh, you need to also recognize that you have uh, succeeded past this journey. Um, you have learned about yourself through this journey. Therefore, this has made you a more evolved soul. Uh, when we evolve to a higher level, we can then step into paths of greater abundance, happiness, and joy. So in the relationship sector, we do have the star card energies. We do have this as a major arcana uh, telling the Capricorn that their wishes can indeed come true, uh, but they just need to maintain balance in their life. They need to focus on their future uh, prosperity and uh, to know that their wishes will indeed come true uh, by the third or, we'll just say by the end of February 2019. Again, for some, I'm getting the 25th. As you are making your wishes come true when it comes to finances and a firm foundation, when it comes to security and financial abundance, uh, your wishes are going to come true and this process is going to help for you to feel more balanced. It's going to help for you to cut away from what no longer serves you. Um, again, it's going to come in the form of some form of paperwork or uh, communication, email, however it applies. All right, so by the Fourth week of February 2019 in the creative aspects position of the circle spread, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So again, I'm feeling like uh, there is going to be contentment about an ending. But with the Eight of Pentacles spirit saying it is now time to really put your energy into researching a new direction, especially financially. So you have a firm foundation to move forward with. Now, there may be some form of obstacles and challenges as you are trying to move forward into new beginnings. Uh, there could be one or two opportunities that come available to this Capricorn. And Spirit's saying pay attention to obstacles and challenges. When things don't work out, it's not working out because Spirit's trying to protect you. They're trying to guide you in the correct direction and to block the paths that are not right for you. So... In your actions position, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. So by the end of February 2019, this particular Capricorn is contemplating making a decision that may seem somewhat difficult, but it is a very spiritual time with the number seven. It is a time to give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've come, for what you have learned, for how much you have made, uh, your knowledge, your experience, and to contemplate which path is the right one for you as you move into a greater path of fulfillment. So again, it's about finding clarity. Which one do I sacrifice? Which one is the right path for me? All right. So by the end of February 2019, I didn't think the answer was going to come that quickly, but for some Capricorns, by the end of February 2019, you are going to receive the information you've been waiting for again uh, from someone who's in a leadership position, or maybe some of you are contemplating starting your own small business in the evenings and or weekends. Uh, as you are remaining balanced, as you are continuing to focus on your material and spiritual prosperity, you are going to start to feel uh, the serenity of the Ten of Cups, feeling like uh, your wishes are coming true and indeed you are finding balance in your life. Look at first you went from starting out mid-February 
protecting your situation and your kids. And then emotionally, by the end of February, you are celebrating with your kids uh, the energies of a happily ever after. That's beautiful. All right. So in the subconscious position, we do have the moon. And we talked about the moon before. The moon is about not falling prey to illusion. This is about getting to the truth of a situation, waiting, observing, speaking your truth to others, standing your ground, and... Uh, praying to spirit for financial abundance and security, the ability to pay your bills, the ability to find balance in your life once again as you free yourself from what or who no longer serves you. So, you know, you may feel uh, the energies of heartache as a burden, but at the same time, uh, spirit wants you to look at this as a new exciting venture and to get excited about this new chapter of your life, Capricorn. So in your day-to-day -day aspects position, you have the strength card. Again, spirit is giving you the strength to speak your truth, stand your ground, and research new beginnings. Hoping, wishing, and praying to spirit uh, that you can again find balance in your life through greater prosperity in a new direction. Beautiful. So in the inner strengths position, look at this. You've got the Eight of Swords, Capricorn. This is about uh, freeing yourself from whatever was making you feel stuck. Spirit saying it's a, you know, the Eight of Swords is a figment of our imagination. It is not reality. So Spirit's giving you the strength to sacrifice whatever thoughts, feelings, emotions, people, places, communications that have been difficult. It's time to leave those in the past to speak your truth, to stand your ground, and to pray to spirit and watch for the signs and synchronicities when it comes to moving towards a new long-term situation, a contented situation, a serene situation. Happiness and joy. Free yourself from your own thoughts or harsh communications with others and you will start to see that you an, a new path, especially financially, is going to open up for you. So in a three-card summary to my right, in the third week, we have the Three of Pentacles. Spirit saying, continue to try. Do not give up when it comes to a new financial path and or direction. Now is a time to understand with the number three that it may take three interviews or three... Uh, yep. Interviews, applications, communications with others to finally celebrate... You're happily ever after when it comes to family, friends, uh, and your future. Yes, you guys are going to be feeling really good about yourselves before you know it if you continue to pray to spirit for more clarity uh, and wait in a balanced way, not to feel stuck, but to sacrifice that which no longer serves you in your mind, okay? Uh, look at this. Uh, in the fourth week of February 2019, this Capricorn is being blessed with the major arcana, the Empress, to get... Uh, to know that as you are taking physical steps in your life and as you are praying to spirit for what it is you'd like to manifest, spirit is going to help this Capricorn to give birth to something new in their life, a new person, place, circumstance, situation, environment. Okay, yes, they're going to come up with an offer or opportunity that's going to be exciting for them, and they're going to want to move into a new direction. There is a little bit of caution I'm feeling here to not jump into a new situation with someone based on the lust of the flesh. Make sure you build a long-term solid foundation of love before giving in to the outward passionate uh, energy. Yes, because someone may be giving you a lot of attention and recognition, uh, but they if they're closed off with their emotions, know that they will not um, open up in the long term unless you stand strong in your communication about your goals and intentions with your boundaries, Capricorn. Okay, here comes that uh, financial offer or opportunity for a new beginning. Again, it could be by the fourth week of February 2019, which helps for this Capricorn to leave troubled waters behind. I just heard your ship is going to come in and new beginnings are going to happen, but this is a very karmic time, so making sure you're making the highest best decisions so that the highest best results will take place. 
Yeah, so we in the outcome position by the end of February 2019. Wow. I don't know if this Capricorn has been dealing with someone who has Pisces in their chart, but I just got Pisces really strong, especially because the moon was here. They may be thinking about a Pisces or they're being given the Queen of Cups energies to really stop and observe and listen to their intuition. There could very well be a leadership position on offer by the end of February 2019, which is going to help for this Capricorn to leave an old path, an old struggle, an old situation behind that was uncomfortable. Again, Spirit saying, speak clearly about your goals and intentions, your boundaries, and what your desires are for the future. And again, with the Ten of Pentacles, this particular Capricorn is going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There may be a Capricorn that is celebrating the ending of a connection with someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But the whole message here is to definitely let go of old heartache and sadness, to clear any energies that are making you feel stuck, to sacrifice negativity, to speak your truth, stand your ground, and get excited about the next chapter of your life. Now is a time of positive movement forward, and Spirit's giving you the strength to decide to work towards new beginnings in your life. So I'm going to close by pulling one card from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless this Capricorn energy with clearly defined a clearly defined word of prayer that they can take with them on into and through the second half of February 2019. Oh, okay. So your word of prayer, Capricorn, is... Guarded and protected. You are guarded and protected. You can stand strong. You can speak your truth. You can find balance in your life once again, and you can celebrate a life of serenity, happiness, and joy. All you have to do is remain balanced, free yourself from feeling stuck uh, when it comes to whatever in your mind is making you feel stuck. Pray to spirit as you research new beginnings, new opportunities, new directions, especially financially, and know that through uh, synchronicities, uh, you will start to recognize what it is that balances you out and which direction to go in. In the meantime, know that you, your children, yourself, your family, whatever it is, are definitely guarded and protected in the second half of February 2019. So, your word of prayer is... Thank you for protecting me, my loved ones, and my loved ones, ensuring that we are safe and that all of our needs will be met. I now accept your, great, your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance at this time. Stand strong in your self-respect. Know that your home life is protected by the angels. The situation is already resolved, uh, according to spirit. They already know what the answers are. If you have children, your children are protected very much at this time. Spirit's saying, use your imagination, and you will see the answers that you are looking for. All right, so if you'd like a personal reading, feel free to email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care. And God bless.